Anyone from the Northeast remembers the blizzard of 78? Because the blizzard of 78, it was called the blizzard of 78 in 78. And we would jump off the, the buildings, went downtown and we started jumping off the buildings into the snowbanks, these huge 16 foot drifts. We'd jump off the buildings, off of, off of Liggett's drugstore and, and, and the, the drum shop and, and Klein's department store, the, the tallest building in Norwood. And we were all jumping except Little Perkins. Little Perkins, twink, he wouldn't jump off the building. He was kind of asthmatic, he was skinny, you know? <laughs> and and, and, and we were like, come on, twink, you gotta jump off, man, get up here, you gotta jump off. And finally he gets up, he gets the nerve and he gets on the roof and he's like looking out, we're like, come on, come on, come on. And he jumps off and he comes flying down and he just lands. He had no coordination, he just poof. He landed with his feet and then his, his chest went flying into his knees like that, and it was not a soft fall for Twink. <laughs> and the knees hit his chest, forcing all this air out of his, his nose and his mouth. And he didn't drink a lot of water. He never drank enough water, so his, his sign, he always had a kind of a drip, a very solid nasal drip that was there. You know, it had a, had a kind of a quality to it. And the, the amount of air that rushed out of his nose, it caused this kind of snot to shoot out of his nose. Two strands of thick, putty-like snot. I'm telling you what I saw. Don't shoot the messenger. These two snakes, these two coils, and before he opened his eyes, he, he you know, he, the, the, when you get your, the wind knocked out of you, you just breathe back in like that. He went like that. And these two snakes that were covered with snow shot up his nose. Now, you know how many, how many yards of, of nasal passages you have. Well, Perkins had snow-covered snot shooting through his whole head. And he looked at me like that, like right when it happened. And there was a moment's pause, and he kind of looked at me. He had that, like... Because Perkins had the most intense, freezy headache. In history!